Hi, my name is Justin, and this is my submission for this first assignment in the sy synthesis and expression class. For this video, or this assignment, I decided to connect a Wiimote to Max MSP. Um, so the way I'm doing that is by using the uh, the oscillator uh, file that was supplied to us. Um, and then sending the data from that uh, out as a MIDI message, um, which then I am receiving into Max MSP through this control in object um, that just receives uh, and parses MIDI data. Um, and then I'm taking uh, the controller number, or not the controller number, but the control number and the actual input data, packing those into a list, then routing those based on the control number, which corresponds to these values in the oscillator setup. Um, and then I've just sent those each to their corresponding send. Um, and I put all of that into this subpatcher because I figured that make it easier to put into other projects in the future. Um, so for this assignment, I hooked up uh, the roll and the pitch um, parameters as well as the A and B button. So the roll and pitch, I just am taking in uh, the data itself and scaling it from the native 0 to 127 range of the MIDI data and taking that, uh, scaling it 0 to 1 uh, to make it fit into the parameters of the nodes object. And I'm packing the data from the roll and the pitch into a single list, sending that into the nodes. And I'm using the data from the roll as the x-axis and the data from the pitch into the y-axis. Um, so you can see when I roll my controller, it goes side to side. When I pitch it, it goes up and down. And then I'm just taking that data, sending it directly into this multi-slider, um, which displays the, the data from each of the four nodes. Um, and then just to finish it off, I just sent that back out unpacked it back into the four data points and sent each of those into their own floating point object. Um, and then for the A and B button, uh, I created this little, this little doodad over here. Um, basically what it does is it senses when the B button is being pressed. Um, so I realized when you press the B button, it sends out a bang. As well as a number, I'm honestly not sure what the number is. I think it might be velocity, but I, I really don't know. Um, but it, you can use it to trigger a bang, um, and it also bangs when you release the button. So I've got that going into this bang, which then triggers this, uh, this trigger object, or this uh, switch, um, and. So basically, when I push the button, it'll turn this on, and when I release the button, it'll turn it back off. Um, and I'm just, I have it turning this metro on and off, uh, and every time the metro sends out a bang, it'll hit increase and cause this ink deck to count up one, which I then have going into this slider. Um, so when I hold the button down, uh, as you can see, the slider will go up. Um, and then the other thing I've done is using the same, that same toggle, I'm scaling the toggle value, which is one when it's on, zero when it's off. And I've inversed that so that it's one when it's off, zero when it's on, using that to control this uh, metronome and using that to bang the decrease message to the ink deck 
so that when I release the button, it'll go back down. And I can hold the button, it'll go up, and release, and it'll go down. Then what I've done with the A button over here, I have have the same setup that I have starting out for the B button, um, but I've put in this load bang, so when I load the patcher, it automatically turns this toggle on. Um, what that, that does is means that my toggle will be off when I'm holding the A button, and it'll be on when I'm not holding the A button. Um, and I'm using that toggle to control this gate, which is just gating the message, uh, the ink and deck messages that are going into the ink deck object. Um, and so what that allows me to do is I can hold the B button, you know, let it go up and down, and then when I hold the A button, it freezes the value and it won't receive any more or ink or deck uh, messages while I'm holding the A button. So I can sit here and press the B button, release it, it stays the same. And then as soon as I release the A button, it's fully active again. And that's all I've done.